So guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you 10 commands that are going to help you out a ton. These are console commands that you can use to both better your in-game FPS as well as make the game kind of easy mode. Um, if any, and the reason I do this is because if anyone has access to one of them, everyone should. So these are updated after Arc released all its uh, stuff. Some of them is for official, some of them is for unofficial, and I'll explain that. But if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing the channel for some more Arc help. So. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and start off really quickly with a command that if you don't use this in combination with other things, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very important because clouds and fog. But before we get there, the grass, because they changed how grass works. You can actually change using grass density scale and then setting it to zero. Um, what that's going to do is that's going to take basically take grass and completely remove it from your game. I'm going to show you another command as well. Um, instead of using kind of like this grass dot enable one and zero got taken away. So grass density can be used in replace of that. Um, just so you can see it again right there, grass density scale zero, and then you turn it to one and it kind of pops everything back in. Now, the second command is similar to that, by the way, instead of density scale, what you're going to go and go to is grass dot size scale and then put that at zero. And that will do the exact same thing. It's just going to drop that grass size to zero and uh, it's going to allow you to basically see pretty much everything. Now, if you drop that back to one, that's going to bring it back to normal settings, just like you see it right here. Now, those are the two that kind of replace some of the stuff that was lost right away. Now, here's some more that should help you out a ton. Now, the next one is your show uh, commands. These are super useful. Uh, show instance grass, show instance foliage, and show static meshes. The one that's going to work on official for you is the static meshes. And what that is essentially going to do is when you're a long ways away from something, I'm going to go, go up so you can see what I'm talking about, is it's going to kind of stop rendering things in at a certain distance, right? So if I go to show static message, you're going to see how it uh, actually loads in those things from a distance. But if I do it again, it's going to hide those things at a distance and actually make your computer run quite a bit faster because it's going to be able to actually hide some of the things that are more difficult to render in so those in combination with some of the other ones now these other two are for unofficial the instanced grass right that's going to remove it for unofficial settings um, and that'll help you out a ton just so you can do that and then the last one is also an unofficial one the show foliage and foliage essentially removes all trees and rocks and things that you can interact with by harvesting them and that could be used for unofficial or solo player as well. Now, those are kind of your generic easy commands. The next ones that you're going to want to use, and this is really nothing game breaking, but the r.volumetric commands. So there's r.volumetric cloud, and you can put that to zero. And that's going to essentially remove clouds from your sky, making it a nice blue, pretty sky. And it's also very, very taxing on your computer to run clouds. So you should always turn those off anyways, especially if you don't care about the prettiness side of the game. And then the other one that you're going to want to take a look is the r.volumetric fog. This is essentially going to remove any fog that is directly placed into your game, making it so you can see literally everything. Look at that comparison, right? It's a major, major difference. And then the fog command is actually also what you use to be able to see the bottom of the ocean instead of having that fog block you. It's a big advantage, especially if you're going to be using that kind of stuff. So definitely take advantage of those two because those in combination will give you a huge FPS boost. Now, those are great and all. However, there are a few more that you need to know that are pretty important. And this is the shadow quality command. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So usually you can find these just by typing in the commands themselves, which you're looking for. So you could type in shadow, right? Now, what you're going to look for is uh, technically, I mean, I can show you in the other one. Where is it? My brain is like farting right now. Shadow quality. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go show you. And so this is more for people that are console specific. If you go to shadow quality zero, R dot shadow quality zero, and then you go ahead and hit enter on that, it's going to essentially remove shadows, making it so that you have a completely um, lit arc. I know that sounds weird to say, um, but putting that back on one will return it. And uh, that is shadow quality. Now, I believe shadow quality is still usable on official. So just make sure you understand that one as well, I think. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Um, so those are a bunch of really good ones that you can use. And the last one that you can use is the uh, water.single layer. So water.single layer. You can see r.water.single layer. 
And if you put that on zero and then hit enter, it's actually going to remove the visibility through water. Um, so you can see that kind of, I'll go ahead and change it back to one so you can see the difference. Um, it kind of just like hides a little bit of that sheen. It used to totally get rid of it so you could see through it, but uh, it's kind of just made a small effect. But turning it to zero still seems to save your computer some graphics. I don't know why exactly, but it does save a little bit of graphics. And then the last command that you really want to focus on is a material quality level. This is essentially a quick way to change the material quality of arc. And that's R dot material quality. And then essentially you can see, I don't know if you can see it on screen, but zero means low quality. One means high quality. Two means medium quality and three is epic settings. So you can actually tone this all the way down to zero making it so that you have your game rendered in and essentially shadows. And it's essentially going to highlight things that are tames and players. Um, so that, that kind of helps a little bit. And you can also turn off grass in order to make it something that's, uh, I mean, you're not going to get any better FPS than this when you turn this down. Now, if you're someone that wants to play on Epic settings, you could set that to three and that's essentially going to put your settings to the maximum you can possibly hit inside of arc and you can see that it does change a few things because it's like it doesn't seem to be very good if you change it from certain uh that zero to three it does cause a little bit of issues but uh, it's not a huge thing so that is 10 different commands technically a little more that you can use in order to gain a huge advantage inside of arc or if your computers more realistically these are supposed to be for people that's computers or xboxes or uh, playstations that you're using that are not currently working very well or it's struggling with the game using these commands should give you the ability to actually use the game much better so anyways hopefully this video helps you out and other than that teach